German politics doesn't fill most people with any sense of excitement, but that would be to miss a very important point, which is that the Angela Merkel era is over. There is a German election that has to take place by October of this year, and she will not be running, which means the biggest prize in Europe is up for grabs, the leader of Germany. And that, of course, means the leader of the European Union, or at least one of the key drivers of what happens in the European Union. So this Friday is the convention of the CDU, Merkel's party, where they will be appointing their new leader. And so in the midst of everything else that's going on, that is actually a key and important election that could really shape the future of Europe for decades to come. Can the Fed keep the pedal to the metal this year? That's going to be the big question if this sense of a reflationary economy takes hold. Now, we don't believe that the economy is actually looking that great because there's still a lot of job losses, the recession is still yet to be priced into markets. But the Fed, they are giving signals that perhaps they might like to try and taper some of the bond purchases later on this year. That seems premature to us. We all remember the 2013 taper tantrum. Uh, there can be a lot of instability generated if the Fed did try to stop the support they're giving to markets. However, they do want the fiscal side to take over. And now that Congress is, in, is held by the Democrats, given the results in those Georgia Senate elections, they will be hoping to put pressure on the politicians to do more so that the central bank can do less. So there's uh, some important Fed speeches this week from Clarida and then from Powell himself. They may well try to signal that they're potentially going to ease off if they can later on in the year or further down the line. Um, this is really just a signal to get the fiscal authorities to do more. The last thing anyone needs with the pandemic raging and economic growth still looking very shaky is for the Fed to take the pedal off the metal. US inflation on Wednesday, and there's so much focus on that this year because of this reflation theme, the idea that growth and the recovery is building up steam. But the truth is that the economy fell down a hole last year when the lockdowns kicked in globally. It came back to a degree when restrictions were eased, but the pandemic is still raging and more importantly, consumer behavior has now changed. Fear casts a very long shadow. That means it will be difficult to get a sustained return to inflation. You need a, a huge amount of demand and restricted supply to get it. And the truth is right now that the economy is still in a state of flux. Uh, there are one minute we want garden furniture, the next minute we want a fire pit to dine outside. It's going to take a long time for the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle to settle back to earth. So yes, we will see spiky inflation, moments where it picks up and it, it looks like it's gathering steam, but, but a sustainable return to inflation is not going to happen until the economy fully recovers. That is still some way years ahead. Despite this rebound, the economy is still significantly smaller than it was before the pandemic began, that is going to continue to be the case.